Akira is one of those movies where you feel like you've seen it a hundred times before, even if you haven't. Um, tells a story that's been told a lot, although I think it's one of the earlier ones to tell the story. Um, Watanabe is a man who just finds out that he has stomach cancer, and he has about six months to a year left to live, and he struggles with trying to find a purpose in his life, because he spent the last 30 years working at City Hall doing absolutely nothing of importance, but somehow still staying busy and just wasting his life at this job, and and now he realizes he's, he has to do something, he has to make a change. Um, but instead of, you know, looking at his bucket list and hanging out with Morgan Freeman, I didn't see that movie, or like skydiving and skiing or whatever the Queen Latifah one was, um, he uses his place at his job to um, fast track a children's park where a cesspool once was. Um, and he takes his last five months on earth and puts them towards this wonderful cause for the future, for the children of the future, and that they can have this nice thing because of him, uh, regardless of, of whether or not he gets any sort of recognition for what he's done. Um, which I think is the heartbreaking part of the movie, is that nobody really remembers that it was Watanabe that pushed everything forward. The deputy mayor takes credit, and the head of the parks department takes credit, and Watanabe is just there in public affairs, and all he did was <clears throat> hand proposals around the office, according to the higher-ups. Um, <clears throat> but still, a very um, inspirational story to hear. Like, I know right now I want to go do something more with my life <clears throat> than talk to a camera alone in my living room to an audience of probably zero, and then as soon as I hit uh, stop on the camera, drive people around L.A. for the next five hours. And it's, it's like, I don't have an excuse to not, you know, go do something new with my life, except, you know, I need to keep food on the table and pay the bills and everything. But it's, it's one of those things that, like, everyone has an end point. And a lot of times we just kind of coast through our lives not realizing that that end point may come sooner than we expect it to and that we can't do something like we, we need to make a change and we, we should change the world for the better and 99.9% .9 of people don't and we just go about our lives and do our thing and it's kind of depressing to think about and this is getting really dark, really quick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. Um, uh, I was a little apprehensive going into it because it's uh, Akira Kurosawa, and I usually, not that he makes bad movies, I usually just attribute him to like samurai movies because he did like Seven, uh, Seven Samurai and um, like some other like period pieces. So that's what I was expecting. But this was like modern for 1952 as a modern film. So it, that added a little bit of life to it. Um, I also really enjoyed the, the third act, the first two acts of the story, up until he decides what he's going to do um, and do the park. It's told like a standard film, occasional narration and whatnot, but the third act, it jumps from, I'm going to build this park, and then blah, 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 five months later, he died. And then just jumps to his funeral and his co-workers and family just talking about him and the whole story of him building the park is told through the stories. I kind of wish the whole film was told that way. Um, I'm not sure logistically how they would do it. Like, what characters would have to be there for individual bits. Like, I guess the doctor would have to be there. And um, the young woman who resigns would have to be there as well. But it was just, I think that would have been, that was such an interesting convention. I'm just upset that it was, it was confined to the last third of the film. Um, I would like to have seen the whole film done that way. I think it was really cool. Um, the only really issue I had was um, audio-wise. It wasn't huge because I'm reading subtitles, but I could not hear or understand a single syllable Watanabe says throughout the movie. He's just so he is just quiet and mumbly, and yes, he's dying, but he should still be audible. Um, that's just like the only critique I have, and that's really nothing to do with. The performance is just like sound mixing, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, not a lot to say about this one. Check it out. Um, it's, a, it's a classic for a reason. Um, tomorrow, speaking of classics, um, about death. <laughs> tomorrow I'm uh, watching It's a Wonderful Life, the, uh, the Christmas movie. That is a Christmas movie. In April. See you tomorrow.